Okay, so Raider, you want to start? Uh, Raider, your speaker is off. Uh, we are using my phone. I'm oh, using your phone once, okay. Yeah, because of the echo, I think I better exit from... Yeah, just keep to... Okay, you want to start? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Uh. Then what, what you need first, you must put the rice. You need a nice mm -hmm. Let's cup. say good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Introduce us. Hi, I'm Raida, and me and my mom today are going to be instructing only one of the science co-op stuff, which is... Help us, okay? So, so what are you making now? Uh, one cup of rice. Sushi rice. Okay, sushi rice. What yeah. is the real rice cup? Rice? Does everybody have a rice cup? One cup. Yeah. Does everybody have a rice cup? I have. Now, you have to ask if everybody has it. If they um, don't have a rice cup, what do they does use? That mean, do, does everybody have it? A rice cup? Have a rice cup? For the rice cooker ones. Do you have them? <laughs> do you? Do you have them for the rice cooker? Okay. So what do you do next? You pour it into a you bowl. You open the pack first. <laughs> And you pour it, open it first, okay. and you pour it into the cup, right? <laughs> for me, we buy from school, so we are not using that. Yes, yeah, so for them, they, they, if they are, you need to let them know. Because you are using the pack that everybody has. So everybody can see. So if you have this pack here, if you're using this pack, you open up and you pour it into one cup. One flat cup. Yeah. Okay, you pour it here. And then you pour it into your bowl. So make sure the rice is a flat cup on top. It's a flat, it's flattened on top. Yeah. That will be your one cup. Okay, wait, some, but some people are still coming. Some are not there. So one cup, flat cup. And then you pour it into your rice cooker. Or the, or then you add container. one and a half. And for those who need to wash, okay, for this one, usually we wash it. So you need to wash it with water for about two times or three times. So what you do is that you add, okay, if you want more rice, you can cook more rice, okay? It's not limited to one cup, you can cook a few cups of milk. And you pour water to wash it. I'm going to do two cups. No, it's not too much. I take extra chicken out. It's about two cups, about to there, slightly less than two cups. But I'm gonna so, all it. The time. Sure. so we can you in, you eat. You can okay. use um water to wash the rice. So I can show you. Water. So add water in there and I'm going to wash it. Okay. So when you wash it, use a hand to wash it. And I will show you. So you wash about two to three times until the water is not, not so choky anymore, yeah. Because if not, there'll be a lot of starch on this uh, with this rice. Okay. Are you? After that, you pour the water away. You can use a nap to pour it into just in case any rice comes out. If you are kidding and you are doing it and your mom wants you to do it. So, just the biggest thing. Can everybody hear us? Use this one. Oh, no, 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 finish washing it, push, yeah, about two and three, or two or three times, you can drain it by putting your finger in front, to, okay, let me get some, okay, inside, and then gently, 
So if after so after washing your rice, focus. Yeah, to drain the water off, you can either use your hand to block it. I'll hold it for you. No, I want. If you have a gadget like this, that like I have, I actually slot it inside, and then I pour it out, and I drain it from there. See, so my rice will not will not fall off. You will drain it. Hey, Rada, how much water to add in? One and a half. So one and a half to one cup of rice. If you put the entire pack inside, that's about two, slightly lesser. So we are going to do uh, three minus away a quarter. So on your cup here, you will see three quarter, half a quarter. So you, t you pour over one cup. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to add a cup full. Pour it inside. And then one and a half, but I'm going to minus the quarter. Slightly more than a three quarter. Okay, I do two cups first, okay? So two cups of rice. We are almost two cups of rice. So two cups. And half plus Yes, half plus half cup is one, but we're going to do slightly lesser than, than a, three uh, a bit more than three quarter, lesser than half. Just slightly above the line will do. So it's not too watery, it's not too wet. And then you pour it in. The, the matter for the, right, for the water is that you put too much water, it is going to be very soggy. If you put too little water, it's going to be quite hard. Or sometimes it don't cook well. You, the water has to be a tiny inch above the rice. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, not, I'm not used to using rice cooker. First yeah. time we do, we use thermomix. <laughs> yeah, that is easier, right? So once you are ready, you finish adding water, you can use a, use a hand to, to uh, lever it up. And then you put it inside your rice cooker and set it to, if you have su cooked sushi rice, you put the sushi rice. It's not just normal rice. Put this into my rice Auntie John. Yes? Hello, Auntie Joy. Hi, I'm Can coming back in a while. So cute. Mosquito. Okay, so I'm done. I'm done putting it into my rice cooker. So we'll wait on that, and we'll start our project. The rest of the project. Okay, so we're going to do petri dish. Hey, Colin, can you put this in the um, on the kitchen sink area for me? The side of the sink. Thank you so much. So you need your stove. Hey. You need your stove. Okay. You need your stove. Okay. I need my stove. I need my saucepan. I need my powders. The sugar. And you have your petri dish here. What? Joan, please yes. talk for the people who are using agar-agar powder like me. Already a person. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> You're the only special one, Eva. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yeah, Eva, you need to measure out about 2.5 or 6 grams of agar. Oh, yeah. Sorry, John. What's a cooking stove for? I, I missed that. Uh, for the... Uh, I the want, I so, is the stove to just boil water? Boil water, oh, yeah. And then we need, to boil the, we need to boil the mixture in, in a while. I see. Auntie John, what? 2.5 what? Oh, what? 
Okay, uh, EVA is about 2.5 or 6 grams of agar powder and the same as your mushroom essence. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. okay. I'm gonna... So what we need is that... Okay, let me share with you the notes for this one. Where is my notes? All right. Okay, so what we need over here is we do need uh, one cup of distilled water, but at home, it is all right if you don't have it because we are going to boil it as well. So you pour, we need one cup of water. Okay, so I'm going to send this notes later on. So what you do is that you need to take your, this is my measuring cup. I'm going to measure up to about one, about one cup here yeah? before I pour it in to warm it up. Someone's in. And you don't have many sitters you are going to put it inside. What are you the asking water about? inside the cup. One cup. She just said one cup. Okay, take a look there. It's one cup over there. One cup of water. Yes, one cup of water. So you're going to put pour the water into the saucepan or the um, pot if you have. Depends on what you're using. Pour it inside. I am going to make my, uh, my stirrer. I'm going to turn on my electricity. Are you, are you asking the it on. I am I trying to teach. Okay, let me find my. Let me find. I'm going to turn on my stove. So, what you want to do is you're going to pour the powder inside, you're going to mix it, and let it melt, dissolve it. Let it melt. Oh. Actually, what is this powder again? Um, inside is agar agar powder and beef extract. Oh, okay. So it's edible one. <laughs> yes, they're all edible. And then pour in the sugar as well. Sorry, I missed that. What's in the powder again? Agar agar uh, powder and beef extract. Auntie John, where do we get the sugar from? The sugar? The sugar is in the blue pack. What blue pack? You have this pack in there. Oh. That's sugar. Thanks. Yeah, all these are actually food for the bacteria. Oh, it's just one cup of water, that's all right? Yes, yeah, correct. Oh, one cup of water. We have two. Yeah. If you have extra, uh, extra transparent container, you can get it ready because I think we will have a bit extra solution later. You can, you can put it in another you know, disposable container. All the sugar. Sorry? Auntie John, do you yeah. pour all the sugar? Yes, all of them. And we're going to dissolve them. Careful with the pot. Yours will be easier to dissolve because it's agar powder. I ran out, so I'm using um, another kind of jelly powder. But it's all. Uh, the sugar do we add in now? Yeah. You gotta dissolve everything. Is it better if it's over a heat sauce? Uh, it, it, it is, it's all right. You can, pour, you can pour it in and mix it and then boil it, or you can boil and then throw it in and then melt it. And okay. then, but you need to boil. It needs to boil at, at least once. We'll boil that then. Can bring it together? Okay. We need to boil one. Um. Oh. Yeah, this is the 
Hi John, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat yeah, yeah. what we are doing now. We are we are making a mixture for the agar agar mixture. It's mm -hmm. in your pack with the petri dish. You prepare one cup of water mm -hmm. and then pour it into a saucepan. You pour mm -hmm. in all the powders and the sugar. Mix it and then let it boil. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, okay. Hi, Joanne. Okay. Yeah. So one more time, I'm repeating. We are adding one cup of water, pour in all the powders and sugar mixture, then boil the solution. I, I sent the instructions. Okay, thank you. Group. Everybody should should actually melt very easily because mine is a different powder. Mine will take a bit of time to actually melt to dissolve it. Yeah. So one is boiling for you guys. You can actually. Turn it off. I'm using a saucepan because it's easier to boil. Yeah. Level the rice. Mommy, how does boiling the powder? John, does the water need to be reduced? Uh, no, it just needs to boil, and then after that, you are done. And then we just turn it off. We just um, make sure that everything's dissolved. We missed the morning bit. What are we boiling right now? Um, the mixture for the for the bacteria growing. The okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Eva sent out the notes for it. How to prepare it? One cup of water, all the powders and sugar all in, and then make it to a boil. And make sure everything melts and dissolve in there. I want to see what. I want to see what. Auntie John. Auntie John. Yes. John. Uh, what are we making? I'm making food for the bacterial. The bacteria is <laughs> we're growing. We're making. Oops. We're making food for it. It's a bacteria, good bacteria, bad bacteria. It's uh, not too good, but not bacteria you have around you. Oh, We're going to grow bacteria that is in your house. You can catch coronavirus. Uh, that's if you have it, and I don't think you really want to grow that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That one definitely not. Yep. How's our mixture coming? Good. That's good. Still have a few chunks. Okay, that's good. Mister. Yeah. Uh, you want to do it now? Just wait about quarter of half a day. Yeah. Splash. If it doesn't dissolve everything, you can actually add a tiny bit more water, okay? Add water. Uh, purified water. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to add some more water to mine because there's still some chunks and I think it needs some, it needs some extra water. Yeah, if you are boiling it and it is not, then it's enough. 
volume because I'm using a different powder. So I need to adjust it slightly. How many, how many percent is, is this recipe compared to ours? Um, all uh, the packs I gave everyone is the same except Eva's because Eva's vegetarian, vegan stuff. So he doesn't, she doesn't work with beef. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, just to just to add on, um, our experiment will be different, so I hope it works. Basically, what I did was uh, I just put one yeah. teaspoon of uh, agaga powder and one teaspoon of the mushroom seasoning. And I did the same thing as you guys. I just brought it to a, a roll boil and um, it's uh, dissolved now. And the sugar, please. Yeah, and the sugar. Yes. Yeah, work for you. Uh, I have the same powder you have. What's the white powder that you? Uh, it's a mixture of agar agar powder as well as a uh, beef extract. Ah, ah, I see. I was thinking. Uh, we are, we are making uh, the nutrients for it. What's the ratio like of the agar and uh, beef stock? One to one. It's actually about one teaspoon each. I see, thanks. And then you, you got this, uh, this is not like the beef stock used for cooking, right? uh, It's the one I use, I use the beef extract. You can use beef stock as well. It worked. I've tried before. Okay. One to one. Yeah, how many grams do you And then I just add a pack of it's sugar for the five grams. Okay, mine, but not everything is raw, but I'm going to just go with... It's a powder to powder, but powder to water. So the one cup water is here, right? Yeah. So you don't think that's one teaspoon of egg and one teaspoon? One by teaspoon. Ah, okay, okay. Don't touch this piece, it's very hot. Okay, I'm going to cool it down right now. We will cool it down. And when, as you cool it down, you want to get a cover. I'm going to... <laughs> Okay. So if you're gonna cover it, you put a cover over the top. For your you can cover on top, put a chopstick underneath so it's slanted. Or flow off to the side, okay? Yeah, but for me, I don't need to do that because it's a different powder. So for you, you do that. We'll leave it to cool for about 10 minutes for yours. But mine, I'm going to pour it in right now. I think we, are just, we just need to dissolve everything. Yes, dissolve everything. You do the same. Yeah, Sorry, my, my, this powder, I ran out of yeah, it. You I do the same. Powder and sugar, right? The mixture pack in there. Hello. And the yeah. For yours, yours will be more watery than mine. Oh, one cup, right? One cup. We just yes, came one in. Cup water. Uh, can you repeat uh, verbally what, what you did with the powder? And yes, the I will repeat in a while. Because yeah. my, my powder is my agar agar. I didn't use it. I ran out because I sent my last pack to somebody in there. <laughs> so I use, I'm using the... Uh, Japanese um, jelly powder, so it works slightly differently. But I got no. here. Over here. Okay, so what you do is that for, for the ones, for, for all of you, except myself, of course, after you boil it, you put a cover over the top, and then you need to put a chopstick underneath to elevate one side and put it this way. So that you no, know, the the um the evaporation, the condensation on top will slide off to the side, and it will not go back to the to the mixture again. Okay, and the mixture one or late is you have two packs of powder, uh, one pack of powder and one pack of sugar sugar in your pack, and then you prepare one cup of water. 
if you can find distilled water, go ahead. If you can't, normal water is fine too. This is a house version, so it's okay. Pour in the one cup of water, pour in the powder, pour in the uh, sugar, put it on the stove and boil it. So you boil it till everything dissolves and melt. You mentioned to cover it, but um, do we need to pour a bit of it onto the, like you did, like pour it in yet? Not yet, because your, my, my powder is different and hardens very quickly. So okay. I need to wait. For, your, for all of yours, you have to wait for about uh, 10 minutes. Then pour it that in. Five to ten minutes for it to cool down a little bit. But if you're using a saucepan which cools down faster, then yeah. pour it in about five minutes. So, John, the boiling is just for, for the uh, stuff to melt, right? Uh, to dissolve. To melt, uh, to melt and to mix, uh, mix properly. Because I boiled it in a kettle and I just poured it out and it all dissolved. Okay, that's good. Then they'll they be all right. Boiling just makes the mixture a bit more um, sort of regular. Okay, it doesn't matter how much water there is in the mixture? Uh, one cup. Okay, thank you. Now, what happened is we're trying to feed the uh, feed agar-agar mixture with as much nutrients as possible for the bacteria to grow. Much nutrients. And I can show you my nutri my bacteria after one, two weeks. Can I look at this? So, this is after two weeks. Yeah, and on this side, actually you can see some white fungus growing on the side. I will send you the picture right now. After two weeks. So we're gonna watch it grow for this month. And on the last, on the second, second last month or the last month, we will put it under the microscope. Now the tree. Okay, I sent you the pictures already. Okay. So once you feel that your, your um, solution is actually pretty much cooled off a little bit already, you put it into the saucer. Just pour about, just cover the base or half for do. Some extra um, solution left. John, is it to pour into two sauces? Yes, the smaller ones. Yeah, pour into is the smaller it? cover. The smaller cover. Are they both going to be the same? Uh, no, the, because there's a cover on top, so the cover will be bigger. Oh, as in the, the two petri dishes? Yeah, that. So once you pour it in, you put the cover on, so that the bacteria from the air doesn't land on it. Sorry, Miss uh, John, do we pour everything in? You pour about half, fill up about half. The height. Uh, all right. Oh, now it's set already. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know. Um, yeah, I can tell you. Yeah. Do we need to buy our own? Uh, what's <laughs> the machine? Do we need to buy our own machine? I mean, to to see the after few weeks. And then, uh, no. After the few weeks, I'll put it under the microscope and I'll show you. I have one at home that, sh that shows up on the screen. Okay. If you have your own microscope, you can work on it too. Okay. Uh, okay. We need to have our own to observe it, right? Sorry? We need to have buy our own to, I mean, get our own to observe the... the correct? The bacteria part of it? Yeah. Have at home, you can use it. If not, you can watch on the screen while I show you. All right. Thanks. Yo. Oh, yes. John, while it's still hot, we can pour it in. Make sure it's slightly colder before you pour it in. And once you pour it in, you use a cover and you cover the top, but not fully. You tilt it to the side so it's slanted again. See, I show you this. See, so I'm putting on the, I'm having a small gap. 
And if you think the water droplets might drop in, the was fall in there, you use a yeah, can use two chopsticks. We can wait until the thing uh, has completely cooled because it will harden, right? Uh, you yeah, you don't wait for it to uh, to cool because it will harden. You're right. And both the both the coffee pieces will be the same, exactly the same. Okay. As, as in, like we have two sets of the same. And you are to fill up both sets. What do we do with the remaining solution, please? You can pour it into your own disposable container if you want. Or if not, you can discard it. What do you say, Adi? Okay, who, is, who's, who wants to talk to me? Then you unmute yourself. What do you say, Adi? Uh, for which part? You say before I did something, you say something. She's, she's talking about the cover. It's okay, I got it, Joan. Thank okay. you. Yeah, just make sure the cover is slanted so that the water will actually drip to the back of it. Will drip off instead, off back into the, into the petri dish. In a lab, you will have to go through nostril, lights and everything else, but the home version, you don't have to. So in the lab, we have to do sterilization. At home, we don't have to. So, so that means the bacteria will get affected or infected. <laughs> not they, they will not, but it's just that no, then you might not be testing the, the thing that you, are, you wanted to test in the first place. Because the, the bacteria from the, from the air, from the water, and from the container might actually you know, get onto your mixture. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. But for home, this is good enough. Okay. So if you are done, you put it aside. We're going to let it cool off and harden. Auntie Joan, what do we do with the permanent marker and that uh, another Ziploc bag? Uh, we, can, we can only use that after we are done, uh, after it hardens. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so we'll move on to the next one as well. I'm cleaning my table off my sh the sugar. And so, John, you will come back to this at the end of the session, is it? It will come back in a while. Once it oh. starts cooling, what, once it cool off, then we will start, you will use it again. Okay. Sorry, John, can you re uh, tell me whether the bacteria is from the house or from the yeast in the... Uh, no, we, are, we are going to use the bacteria from the house. Bacteria that you can find in your house. Okay. I'm going to put it to the side. Oh, by the way, anybody grew the crystals last week? Yes. And how is it growing? It's growing, my one is growing. Yeah. The baby crystals are going bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, let me show you let me show you what I have here, okay? I have three. Okay, you can take a look at that. That's the one in my bowl. This is the one that I grew on I grew them on a string. Oh, that looks so cute, like spiky Anglosaurus. That's right. And you can, if you look carefully, you realize the crystals have the same shape. And the last one I have, I have two single crystals. One started one week later, uh, a few days later. So these are single crystals. The small one has been there for about, I think, three days. The big one's been in there for a whole week. Hi, John. This is Audrey. Yes, yes hi, Audrey. 
our crystals uh, didn't materialize. We tried for two days already. Okay, <laughs> it means that uh, there might not be enough. Um, it might. Oh wait, can I take a look at your, the solution? It doesn't look dark enough. Really? Okay, you can look oh. at mine. Do you see that? Uh huh. Yeah, it's actually so we, darker. Yeah, we put in the whole packet, and then whatever didn't dissolve, uh -huh. we uh, we just left it like that, and then there's still. Oh, no it's result. working for you. Um. Okay. Let's see. There's we no. Boil it? Is that um? Did you boil it to start with? No, we didn't. We didn't okay. boil it. You need it, you need to use it hot water. Oh, okay. Hot or warm water. So you just easily just uh, put put in the rest of the crystals that was left from last time and then okay. warm it boil it up. Ooh, or at okay. least warm it up. Warm it up and dissolve it again. Welcome. I can see your crystal. Very nice. Okay, John. We tried to use a single crystal to seed it, but it turned out yes. neither here nor there. Okay, the single crystal, you need to tie them. Did you tie them up? Okay. Yes. Okay. Because it needs to be, you need to uh, pick up the, the perfect um, crystal. The perfect one, right? It must be perfect. Okay. So I must have picked up a non-perfect single. Okay, see? The only so, way. And you can have to tie it with something that is not cotton. Like for me, it's, oh. actually, it's rubbery. Yeah. Is so it, it, will not, it will not. Uh, it will not actually have any water on it. Is it this one? Okay, we'll try that again next time. Yeah, there needs to be fishing. Uh, fishing. Uh, fishing straight thread, or the ones for jewelry, the plasticky ones. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Is it this one? Like this one, you can see it's not. I when I picked it up, it wasn't perfect. So it ended up the same shape when I took it up. How, how do you do it? Is it this? Uh, uh, this one was from last week, Amelia. This was from last week. Auntie John. Yes. Is it last week? Yes, you want to talk to me? It last week, so we can't do it. Oh, last week. Ah, uh, okay. That was yeah. the crystal growth from last week. Uh, from the uh, electroplating set. Yeah. It's last week. We do it separately then. Yeah, we did the electroplating and then we used the remaining solution to make the crystal. Yes. So this is the after one week is the maximum size it can grow, right? No, it can grow more. It, it can grow more. It, so yes. I just leave it. You leave it and then if you want it more, you can actually um add more filter. Yeah, oh. filter it and it can also add in more of the um crystals, it's the mixture itself, the powder. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So you saturate even even stronger than put inside. And make sure it's okay. it, when you, when you reheat a solution, make sure it cools fully before you put in any crystals. If not, they will melt. If these crystals will melt if you don't wait for it to cool down. Auntie John? Yes? How do you do it? Can we do it? For which one? Yeah, now we are coming to this one now. Okay. I'm going to move my stuff away for a bit because I need a table. I'm going to change my background on the bottom to black. Okay, so this tray now we are using. Do you, if you all want to, you all can do the simple one, which I can I will show you, or you can actually get aluminum foil at home, and then you create it into a small bowl, small plate here. Mommy, we're doing it. So if you want, we're doing. Use the fire making one. Making the fire, making one. Okay, let's put this aside, okay? Look, don't touch the fire! Another one so you all can see. Okay, so now what are we doing? 
Y'all can just, no, y'all can don't do this step. It's fine, but I'm just going to do it so you can see better. Okay, once you finish talking, try to mute yourself so the rest can hear and see. If you need to just look at my screen, you can pin onto my name. There are three, so I'm going to make three small ones. Yeah? Those who are asking, the beef powder I'm using is actually beef, uh, beef extract. Did you say it's beef stock? Uh, you can use beef stock. I'm using beef extract. Can I use vegetable stock? Yes, you can. Eva's using mushroom stock. John, can you explain what you're doing again, please? Thanks. I'm just, create, I'm just creating a small little plate with the aluminum foil. So it's easier for, to compare the three of them when I'm burning together. In the pack, they ask you to wash and then reuse again. But for me, I would like to do all three together. But for you, you can just do it one by one too. Yeah. The three glass dishes, are we supposed to prepare by ourselves? Which one? The one on your table next to your aluminum foils with the cork on. Oh, this one? Oh, no, this is for myself. So we just need to do the foil? Yeah, you can just do it on the foil. Okay, thanks. Make sure you put it on a surface that doesn't burn. So I'm putting on the tray. So I'll wait for a while for everybody. You can follow the instructions from a booklet, but I'm doing it slightly different. One more powder. Where's my one more powder? So you should have everything there. I 
Everybody got it? So everybody's done with it, not yet? Okay, not yet. Yes, I am. Good. I can see Tedrick is working on it. Okay, my rice is ready right now. Is everybody's rice almost ready? No. Yes. Okay, can you check how much more time you need for your rice to be ready? Okay. I'm going to do two versions today. The first one, I'm going to follow what the booklet said. They add water before they use it. John, do we need to off the, um, the power? The power. Uh, uh, you, can, you can turn off the power. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Can you turn off the power for my rice cooker, please? So what I can do is you can actually pour some of the, you have still have a lot of copper sulfate, right? So you can test the copper sulfate first. Pour a bit of the powder in there. Add a tiny bit of water and then you stir it. Same thing, if you want, you want to dissolve it faster, use warm water. Colin, can you fill up hot water with yeah. this hot water? It's just about quarter would do. Thank you. I'm getting Colin to get me hot water so I can dissolve it faster. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to change it to hot water. Actually, I can just use my crystal water. <laughs> okay, I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna use my crystal water. Uh, if, never mind, I'll mix my own again. This, pro, this particular one for the copper sulfate, you can actually use a crystal water too. And once you mix it and it, it can't dissolve anymore in a hot water, you can use your dropper and pick up into the, this cover first, okay? We're going to do this one first. Pick up about some liquid and drop about four to five drops in there.
for, for, for the rest of you, you can also test it out on your all the three, so you can put it in there too. You saw all of the, of the blue powdery thing in? Just put a bit, you just dissolve it first. We are doing the, the very light version right now. Later on, we will burn it together with the alcohol directly. Yes, I, are you saying you add the blue? Do you say you add the blue? You, you yes, add the blue yes, just right here. Into the plastic. Yeah, the transparent one. Just put a little bit and then try to dissolve it. Auntie John. Yes. How much, How much solution? solution? The oil over here, you're going to use about 11 drops. Not, but yeah. wash or strange first. Yeah. Make sure you wash or strange first. Auntie John, do you, put, do you put all the blue thing in? And add no, a just a little oh. bit first. Yeah. Just a little bit will do. I see the blue thing. After the 11 drops, how do we put the blue crystal thing? What else do we put? Sorry, I missed that part. Yeah. Uh, you put the solution in there, about 5 drops about there, and I add about 11 drops of alcohol. Alcohol? Yeah, this is alcohol. Oh uh, no, how do you get the blue solution? Copper sulfate. You need to mix it with some water, right? Yeah, just a little bit of water. Same thing. Or if not, you can just take it out from your crystals. You can just take out from top from there too. Oh, okay. See, oh, so this is copper sulfate. Same thing as last week. Yeah. And then you mix it a little bit inside, and then you try to, yeah, then you burn it. Sorry, so, guys, uh, alcohol. Sorry. How much alcohol? About eleven drops. To which one? So you put a blue solution in there, about five drops, and then you add about eleven drops of alcohol. So, uh, John, we missed this step. Do we add the blue crystals and dissolve it? And how much water to dissolve? I'm um, just a little bit only. Don't pour everything. Just pour about a mop, a, a one third or half will do. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and then you can. I think I can just use a lighter. Okay, if I put, uh, put against the black ground, you can see it's green. I'm going to turn off the light a little bit darker. It's greenish. Can you see that? It's greenish in color. Okay, it went off already. I'm going to do it one more time, okay? I need a white light. I'll turn off the light there too. Let me see if it works for this one as well now. Okay, it's done. So let it cool down first, okay, before we do, do try it again. To make it a little more, I'm going to try what I wanted to do. I'm going to make it direct. So I'm going to add some powder directly. So this particular one in the aluminum tray will be bigger. Copper sulfate is easy because we just we just used it last week.
and you see it's green. You can see the flame is greenish in color. A bit red, a bit green. John, I can't turn I can't seem to light the liquid. Me too. We're having trouble with that too. Add a bit more alcohol and then try to light it up again. Wait, can we try? Yes, but no way. But no well, in, the, in the aluminum tray, what I did was I added a powder directly and then I add alcohol over it. I didn't mix it with any water. It's right. not diluted. It's not diluted. Yeah. So I'm, like if I want it more, I just add a bit more alcohol again. And that one was burnt. <laughs> Make sure your burning surface is. No, this one was burnt. Yeah, okay, we'll try it again. Can you take the burnt steak? They'll mix it later. They'll mix it later. Oh, okay, good. This is the thing. I'm actually standing back. There you go. It's so burning the, again. Of course. So. Oh, it turned blue! Oh, see? It's greenish oh, color. It's green and blue! <gasps> this part looks green. red! I was turning green! It's green and blue! Green. Yeah, it's a bit orangey, a bit green. There's more green if you see properly. Wow! Yeah, that's the reason why we're using aluminum foil if you have it. So the surface is bigger, wow. you can see better. The green, darling. Wow. Darling. Darling. Whoa, it turned green. Green. green fire. Yeah, yeah. The copper. yeah because of the green. Yay! Yeah. We've got green fire. Have you seen green fire before? No. Yeah. We saw green fire. Yeah, see this. Check this out again. Hi. Hey, we're making copper oh. sulfate. You are doing great flipping. Okay. So now I'm going to add the other ones as well, okay? So I'm going to add the entire pack into the aluminum foil. tray in there. Which one is this? Salt. The two white ones. The crystal, crystal, um, the crystal ones. This one. And the, and the other pack is the white, white tissue, the ball thing. Green flame, yes! So after we make the blue solution, yeah. I can't hear you. Sorry, I cannot hear you. After I mix the blue, okay, wait, let me, let me melt and then you unmix yourself again. Hello? Yes. Yeah, so after I, I, I missed that part, I'm so sorry. So I, after I do the copper sulfur solution, yeah. this one, then what do I do? Okay, now we are going to, and we are doing it, those who has trays, the aluminum trays can add in one powder to one uh, one cover, one of the plates. So it's one, uh, one white into one plate, right? Yeah, one, one, uh, one powder into one plate or one crystal. And all of it. Yes, one each. Separate them out. Oh, okay. Okay. Then. Oh, okay. I'm going to redo this again. Enough for this one. Oh, I have two more blue powder there. And I'm going to add alcohol to all three. So this coming from uh, this tree, when you burn them together, please be mindful. I'm going to burn all three together, okay? Hi, Joan. Yes. This is Karen. Yes, hi. 
can I ask what is the white powder that you're using now? Which one? I have the white. Me? The white color. Okay, uh, let me light it up and explain in a while, okay? Because <laughs> okay, I don't thank you. how to evaporate. John, do we need to uh, add water to, for the powder, other two powders? This um, salt and you can if do you need? want. Okay, that means you need it. Okay, thanks. You can see the middle one is reddish. And it's, it's green. This is green, this is reddish, this is orangey. Can you see the difference now? Okay, that's the green one. I'm gonna rotate. That's the orange, bright orange. And then the front, the one in front there is the red. There. John, can you tell us what the chemicals are again? Yes, I will come to that. It's in my notes. And don't go on your arm. I Watch your arm, please. Yes, I will. It's already dying down. That's why I dare to do it. <laughs> okay, the first one is copper sulfate. And then the other one is sodium chloride. The third is calcium oxi uh, oxidate. Oxide, sorry, calcium oxide. So it's CuCO4 for copper sulfate. It's NaCl for um, sodium chloride. And it's CaO for calcium oxide. Got it? Yes, thank you so much. Okay, let me show you this one. One of the months we will we explore this again, but in all seven colors. There you go. So this is yeah blue matching blue, so copper sulfate. This second um, sodium chloride is also what we call salt at home. And this is calcium oxide. So those who had followed me for some time uh, realized that sometimes I do not follow the, uh, the, uh, the instructions on the booklet. Okay, so once we are done with this, we can keep it away. We are going to go back to doing, checking out our Petri dish. Can y'all check a Petri dish? Has it cooled off already? Has it turned solid? John, thanks for this experiment because recently we read one uh, Chinese book, story book. It's about seven colors of the flame. So now is that all I understand already? <laughs> yeah, these are three. Um, in another couple of one or two months later or so, we will, we will be doing all seven. That's great. Yeah, because I need to go and collect all seven material. Uh, so, so called the other seven of them, the other four. Mm -hmm. I think John, I can't seem to light up this with alcohol. Which one is that one? Uh, not the salt. The, the other white powder. Uh, the so um, chloride oxide thingy, is it? Yeah. I can't light it up. I don't know why. I I it, um, do you try to, to mash it together? Uh, I think it's already mashed because it's yeah, quite liquid in the first place. I mean, oh, uh, a bit it's quite liquid. Then you add in the um, alcohol, yes? Yes, I did. Okay, uh, if you still can't light it up, I'll send you a new pack for that one. Oh, uh, is it? Uh, I think it's a bit melted. Uh -huh. Does it look okay? Uh, melted should be all right because uh, it was supposed to be melted in water as well. Okay, okay. I'll try oh, again. No. Okay. Thanks. Welcome. You can try uh, melting it in hot water. 
just a little bit. Okay, those who are ready can check your petri dish. Has it set? Is it set? Has it cooled off? And is it set yet? Yes, it's set. It's set. Yes, yet? thank well, you. If you turn upside down, it should not fall off. Okay. <laughs> okay, marker time. Yeah. Flip over, okay, flip over one of the one of the container at the back, draw into quarter, so quarter it. Got it? Everybody got it yet? Okay, I'll wait for a while first for someone to finish the other project. June? Yes? So this uh, Petri dish is going to be growing bacteria? Yes. Okay, so that means this will be our pets. Huh? Yes. You just have to figure out which ones because there's quite a few in there. Okay, thanks. So uh, we can bring them for a walk also, right? Yes, you can too. <laughs> you, can name, you can name them too. <laughs> we'll, we'll give them five minutes for the rest to clear up their, uh, their, their previous project. I will continue. So we only draw the quadrants for one plate or both plates? Just one plate. Oh, okay. Mama, can you put the ovary? I don't want it. I want to move to onto the sushi. Wait, no, you have to let the alcohol settle up. Okay, you tell Auntie Joan you don't want bacteria to grow. <laughs> you want bacteria to grow? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going to close it inside a Ziploc bag so it'll be okay. <laughs> Ziploc bag, so don't worry, okay? Yeah, if you have Ziploc one Ziploc bag, bag, then if you have at home, find another one that fits into a uh, fit to the same size too. Okay. I made a. I made. I made a few smaller dishes. I can just use clean wrap to clean wrap it. Is it if I want to grow that more bacteria? Uh, you can use clean wrap if you want, but clean. Uh, you got to try to turn it upside down. The clean wrap, the water vapor might make make it wet and drip back into this uh, into the uh, into the surface again. Oh, okay. Is it dry? Yes. Yes. I use the kids' uh, plastic bag. Uh, yes, that is for one of them. We need to find another bag. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can put them together too, but it's nicer if you have two. You can try using the bag for the chemical just now. The size can fit as well. Should fit just nicely. I'll test it out for you. Yep, it fits nicely also. So you can reuse the bag. Yeah. So are you ready? You can. can you use the Ziploc bag the candle experiment just now? Yes, correct. That's what we were saying also. Oh, sorry. I went to look for it. Okay, no problem. It's the same size. Sorry, Joan. Why do you draw the two lines again? I'm drawing, I'm quartering up because we are going to grow bacteria on different part of it, different and on different uh, surfaces. Ah, oh, okay, thank you. 
drone, is, is there going to be a specific type of mold that is going to be growing on, on this uh, thing? Depends on what kind of bacteria you have at home or mold. Yes, yes, I cannot know, figure out what you have at home yet. Okay, so, oh, we just, we just cleared a lot of mold. I don't want The DC cannot have bacteria or mold, right? Yeah, that's why we're keeping it inside the zip bag. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is loud. Hi, John. You put a cross on one of the box lids, is it? Which one? Anyone. Just take one and then flip upside down and then you draw, draw a cross. Okay. Separate you mean it doesn't matter for just now one half open, right? It doesn't matter, is it? Uh, what do you mean? Just how you ask us to half open another uh, that, that is box, when right? That is when it's um, trying to um, settle and solidify. All right. So that it, that the condensation doesn't fall back into into the mix into the um gel the agar agar mixture. Oh, oh okay okay that means it's not a contrast thing then. Yeah, it's not. Okay. okay so on this all four, I want you to think of four surfaces you want to test out. Light. I will try toilet bowl for one. Toilet bowl cover. Okay. Yo. Yes. I want to touch my library books. Sure. Then you can write library books. Or newspaper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can try that on one of one of the con one of the corner of it, one of the quarter. And those with computer and iPads can try iPad or phone. Anywhere else? Anybody can come up with any idea? Yeah. Door knob. Yeah. Where? Door knob. Shoes. Big door knob. Shoes. Make sure you remember where, okay? Which door knob from your house? One. And My shoes. Four. Okay, and shoe. Shoe. bottom, yeah. Bottom of the shoe. Okay, bottom of the shoe. Light switch. Yes. Okay, bottom of the shoe is a good one. There should be quite a lot. So for this particular project, for these four corners, I'm finished writing. You have the cotton bud in your in your pack, right? Take out one. Take out those those two. So. Two sticks has four sides all together, so you have four corners. So use one, and then go and rub uh, a lot. Rub, rub very, very no. Just rub a lot on it, like on top of the toilet cover. Just keep on, keep on going through everywhere. Okay, yeah, you think it's gonna be dirty. Just all rub on it, and then on this surface you are going to okay. Let's say. Don't use marker, okay? I'm just showing. So once you bring it back, you're going to do this. So this is the quarter that I'm going to do. Okay, I'm just going to draw so you can see. So when you come back, toilet, uh, toilet bowl cover, you use the cotton bud and you're going to spread it left and zigzag left and right. Okay? Just at that corner, that part. Only on that portion. Got it? So if... I'm going to do my iPad. I'm going to just fill up this quarter. And then door knob only in this quarter. Do not cross it. Leave a little gap in between. June, the cotton bud dry or wet? Dry. Okay. Yes. Just, okay, you can go and do it now. So you can go use the cotton bud and I'm going to rub it on the surface. Go. Go and rub on the surface and come back. Then we apply it on the... Aga, aga. Hello, Joan. Yes. Uh, Karen here. Yes. So when we rub 
when we rub the cotton bud on the agar solution, we yeah. have to do it gently without scraping any of the agar solution. Yes, you just put it gently on the top layer. Mm. Yeah, don't put don't don't okay. press holes in there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So make sure that the cotton bud are all different. Don't reuse it. If not, the bacteria will cross. So find four surfaces. It can be any surfaces you want to test out. Yes, Sison. I'm done. So can I uh paste paint the cover on? Uh, no, you don't paste anything. Watch this. If you are done, you put the cover on this way. You are gonna flip it upside down. Then put it into the bag. And then zip lock it. Remove as much air as you can, not, not fully, but just backfold it and then zip it up. And you're going to keep it upside down. Okay, you can place it in a, you know, a dim corner, like under the table or something for the whole week. You can take a look at it you know, after a few days. So you keep it upside down in a, in a dim corner. The second plate, it's more fun. So now, I want you. He told her I'm not done. Oh, okay, sure. Because I remove, I remove the compost box, so you can you can put it. There. Uh, Joan. Yes. Hi, Joan and Joey. Yes. Uh, sorry, I missed out on the, the the preparation for the first plate. What do you use to write the the wordings? You write oh. this directly on the the dish, oh. is it? Permanent, uh, permanent marker on the bottom of the set. Okay. Bottom of the petri dish, draw across, label it. Uh huh. Then when you are done, you cover it up, and you put it in a bag, and you flip it upside down. Okay, so before we get to the done part, so I will have to sprinkle the white um, powder on it, right? I know the white powder and the sugar, everything has been melted. They are melted in one cup of water. So I melt the white powder and the sugar in one cup of water. Yes. And pour it all into one dish, is it? Uh, no, and it, you fill up just half the dish. Okay. Yep. Half of both the dish, you should have some extra left. You can mm -hmm. test it out with any disposable containers if you want. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Welcome. So let me know if you are done with the four, the four, the four quarters, okay? Okay, that's good. And then go and put it under the table or anywhere that is not too bright. Hey, Joan, so when you keep it, you keep it uh, upside down with the words yes. facing up, right? Yes. But when you apply the, the cotton bud, you apply it to the solution? Uh, to the mixture. To the mixture, okay. Yes. And Thanks. make sure that uh, you don't create holes. Just just gently wipe it on the on the top layer. Okay. Okay. Those who are waiting around. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, and don't don't create holes in the pack, okay? Just zip lock it the way it is. <laughs> do, do I have to keep it in the dark? Uh, just in a dim in a dim area will do. I keep mine under the table. Oh. Oh, yeah, really? Under the chair or in the box, whichever you can choose. Under the bed. Okay. Words up, right? Words, uh, keep yes, it up words, with the words, words up. Right. Correct. Sorry, Miss, we went to the toilet just now to get the. <laughs> so, what is the instruction for the second one, John? Oh, not yet. We only finish it. Let's just finish the first one. All right. All right, great. Okay. Now, those who are waiting for the second one, now let's practice this, okay? Use a hand, put it on the tabletop. Just choose one hand, okay? And now rub. Okay, rub. In a circle, left to right. And then now, just pretend, put it on top of the cover. Okay? And stay there for, stay there. And now, watch my hand. I'm going to rotate it left and right without lifting it up. See that? See that? And then, do it just about a few times and you can lift it up. Without it? Yeah. Very carefully. We don't wash our hands before this, right? No, do not wash your hands. <laughs> okay. Lulu or Mark, Mark, can one of you come here? Okay. Yeah, we try one more time again, okay? So, practice on the surface rub, left and right, in a circle. The other way around. And then ah. on oh, the yes, cover. Yeah, and gently. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you can just put okay. your hand in the It's a face. Okay, so gently place on it without moving your hands on top of the agaga layer, okay? Just place it directly on it only. Then use your wrist, rotate left and right without the hand moving off the surface. A few times, then you lift it. And don't press too hard because you might break the agar-agar later. And then you lift it up gently. Got it? So, are you ready now? So, now go and do repeat this, this motion, not on the table. Go test it. Do it on your um, bathroom floor, kitchen floor, bedroom floor, and living room floor. Go do it the, together on the floor. Go. Go dirty it on the floor. Any floor? They oh, can do a, a mixture of floor. You can do it on a, a bathroom floor, then kitchen floor together, and then living room floor. Just get your hand as dirty as possible. This experiment will fail at my mom's house. <laughs> I'm sure it will still work. Just how much? <laughs> okay. And once you are back, now not to, don't put on it. Don't put on it. Okay, open the cover first. Okay, open the cover. Then this is the new one. You see the one without the quarter. Okay, so you're gonna put your whole hand inside. On the surface, put it inside. Press it inside. Press your whole hand on the agaga. Yep, inside. Fingers down also. And now same thing. Rotate your wrist left and right a little bit. Without bringing it up. It must stay on the surface and then you do this, okay? So once you touch the agar surface, try not to lift it up anymore until you are done. So if you are ready, dirty your hands ready, then put it on the agar surface and then do that. Then you lift it up, cover it up ready. And then put it into ziplock bag, flip it upside down and keep it away. Okay? Put it in your ziplock bag. Can we put it in the same ziplock bag? Uh, you can, but you will not see very clearly because you, it will be stacking on each other. So you can use the bag that you used for your flame just now. It's, a, it's the same, it's, it will fit the size of it. So see, so what I did, same thing. I kept it upside down the last time round for my bacterial. You can see it's actually Colin's handprint. That's his fingers up here. That's his palm. Okay, so you're going to keep this upside down. Okay. And away for the next few weeks. Okay. Done. Okay. If you are done, you can keep away your bacterial sets already. 
and we are going to continue the rise. Raider, are you ready? Uh, hello, John. Yes. Um, is it okay if during the following four weeks we take it out occasionally and look at it and then put it back in a dark place? Will it uh will yes. it affect? I uh, know it's all right. You can look at it every day. It's fine. Just don't leave it out there um, all the time. Just keep uh -huh. it in a darker area so, so it can grow. So we noticed that the uh, my daughter noticed that the agar agar uh, mm -hmm. of your plate, right, which yeah. has the bacteria on it, seems to be darker. Did the agar agar turn darker also, uh, as compared to the fresh agar agar that you that you did today? So uh -huh. the so it, the agar agar also turned darker. Uh, over time, let me take a look. Ah, uh, I did a few sets, so I gotta see which set is this. Yeah, because it got dirty. Yeah. Hmm. So it's the bacteria also, and yes. the black, the black stuff will be the mold, uh. Yeah. The, um. I'm send. I will send you the notes. Don't worry. So is it okay if let's say after this experiment, um, we can we reuse the petri dish? Uh, scrape everything no. up. If you want, you can. It's going to be um a job. You will need to make sure you clean it very well. Oh, uh, not, not, not enough with soap and water? Uh, you can, uh, soap, water, you can use sanitizer. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, because um, we want the kids to breathe it in as well. Hmm, okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, let me show you this. Share screen. Do we need this? The paper? Is it just tissue paper? Uh, I can't remember what's inside. Is there a tissue paper in there? No, right? Some paper okay. which I don't know what is it. Uh, I have no idea too. I gotta take a look later, okay? It's like some gauze. Oh, no, no, no. That one is not. That one has to keep it. That is for your pao. Oh, that's for pao. Ah. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, luckily I never did it. Okay. Yep. Okay, so you can see from there the different formation of all the different kind of moles and fung fungi. Small. Oh, okay. You have before you finish your hands or you need help? Yeah. So I have something like a filiform over here in mine already. It only showed up in like week two, uh, or week, close to week two or three. Then I have some, I've seen the raised ones. I'll send these notes to you all later. See, so, so you can see, those are the surfaces. This is roughly how they look. I have this one, the green mold here and it, the greenish ones. I, is it a green? Oh no, it looks more like the black ones. So I send this to you guys so you all can take a look at it later on. Okay? So you have something to compare. Okay, Mr. Raider, let's mix the rice. Okay, everybody go get your rice. I'm going to go get my rice. Ah, yeah, thanks. Yes, Aisan? When, when you say go and get your rice, my rice cooker rang. <laughs> okay, that was accurate. So good. Um, when Auntie John said go get your rice, his rice cooker rang. Just at that time. Okay. That's my rice. I'm not Let me see. Okay, Raider. Have 
Have you, are you going to give instructions? I'm going to give. Mia. Yeah. What do you want? Okay. Uh, uh, the look like this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the box, you see the rice scoop. Make sure you wash it clean. Raider, you're too fast. You haven't told them to bring in the rice out yet. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, so from there, it's hot. Okay, you scoop some rice out for yourself. See how much you want. And I'm going to put my rice, the rest of the rice, back in my. Okay, ready? So, vinegar. Rice vinegar, this is with vinegar, with salt and some sugar stuff already. So this one, what you can do is put a bit on the scoop. I want you to taste it. It's not very strong, it's quite diluted. Okay, Raider, how much will you, do you suggest them to use? Yes, I think that one toss off. Okay, mine is about this much in a bowl. It's up to you for the taste wise, but I'm going to add about one scoop full. Just go like that first. It and then mix it. It depends on how much rice you have. Yes, yeah. correct. So they have to keep testing it, tasting it. And they got to see whether, you know, that your kids, do they like it, uh, the taste it is, or they like it lighter. But mix it well, fold it. Use a folding method instead of just mixing it up. Mix. Mix. After you pour it in. I'm gonna taste a little bit. Okay, I want some more. So it all depends on you know, how, how sour you like or how sour or sweet you like your rice to be. For us, we do like our rice slightly more sour than usual. And when you're done, you put a cover over the top. Make sure, cloth, remember the cloth, go wet it. Squeeze it out and then put it on top while we wait to use it. So I wet my one of my cloth and I'm going to cover it. It is so that it doesn't dry off easily.
want to try? Maybe he usually wants to have a bit more. Too much. Too much? What? You can prepare your ingredients you want to use. We're going to the roll first. Okay, so as Auntie Vivian suggested, easier way for children and for parents to without yeah without washing their now the bamboo roll is to use cling wrap around it. So if you have cling wrap at home, you can use that. If not, it's fine too. Yeah. I'm gonna show you how to wrap it. First, I need to find where is the opening, okay? Because uh, yours is a new one. Why? I'm going to roll it out. You sure the music is enough, Ada? You can see? Put it on top. I'm gonna pull it up some more. It's like wrapping presents, yeah? Yeah. And bring it go. I'm gonna fold this across the middle at the back of it. And I'm gonna move forward again. So I have more space. Extend it and I'm going to reverse it this time and cover in the back. When you get that, you can tear or cut it off. And I'm going to put aside while we add another layer across it. Roll it out again. So just now you finish putting it, you finish wrapping it this way, you turn it sideways this time around. We cross over and you wrap it in. There you go. Then you fold in. At the back. Yeah, then you have a cling wrap roll. Hold, hold, hold. Roll, yeah. hold, hold. Are you going to, Rada, are you going to do this part or I'm doing this part? Are you going to do? Yeah. Are you going to show them how to roll it? I'm going to show them how to roll it. Uh, and then you can take the from where? Take the seaweed from the box that you got. Leave it layer, there's a ziplock on top. So if you, if you cut it open on the top of the ziplock, you can reuse the, the, uh, the pack again. Yeah, You can zip it back again. Hey, Reda, we took it out already. So what should we do with it now? Take out a piece, then you put it on the, what is this called? The bamboo. Yeah, I'm going, for me, I, I'm going to flip it the rough way up. Yeah. There are two sides. There's a smooth and a rougher part of it. 
you I usually put a rough cut up facing up. And what are we going to do next? Wet your hand in water. Wet your hand in water. Mm -hmm. Put some, uh, put the rice on it. How much? Okay. Yeah, if you are going to be using your hands, then you need to wet, wet your hand. If you are going to use you know, a spatula and stuff, you need to make sure you wipe we wet it so it doesn't stick onto it easily. So I'm, I'm going to show both at the same time. So we're going to do the rice with hand. And we're going to place it across. So what I do is I put it on the corner of it, on the side. About one third of it. When your when the rice starts to stick to your hand, you can wash your hand. You dip your hand in the water again. You can put it in the in the water and wash it. Now after that, you dry your hand. When you're done with the rice, you dry your hand a little bit. I'm going to demonstrate with the floss. You can also use whatever ingredients you want. Make sure you cut it into strips. I'm going to, I'm going to add it over there on the top part of it. A layer, a straight layer of it. You can use a hand also, or you can use cutleries to do this. Can I use this? What, what do you want? Wait, it cannot be too wet. I need this. Uh, no, use your hand. Because you cannot have it too wet. So once you are done with that, Over here, I'm going to fold and roll over the top. Okay, when you really roll over the top, it's not enough yet. Then you can add some more rice, okay? And this time for my rice, I'm going to use a scoop instead. Because a scoop, you can flatten it as well. Look, I can use my scoop to flatten it. Flatter. There. So usually I would actually use you no know, a scoop to do this because I can flatten and spread it out easily. And you roll, you fold it over, you pull it back. You pull it back snugly. Hold it two, three, four, open the top. And you roll over again. And then pull it in again. One, two, three, four, five. So, so this is a maki. You can see it's small. It's a small roll. The rest of it, you can cut it off or we usually, we just roll it up. And we just eat everything. Okay, there you go. So that is my sushi roll here. I'll wait for the rest. For those who want to figure out how to cut the sushi, you can use scissors <laughs> or you can use knife. 
Make sure you wet it as well. Some people use vinegar water. Today, I'm just going to use plain water. Okay. And I'm going to use a finger as a measurement to measure it. So you can see that. I'm going to put my hand here. Just two fingers over there. You have two fingers over there. You are lying. I found it on the book page. And then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to just cut it. Oh, wrong knife. Yeah. Press it a bit. There you go. Can you pass me the teeth, the, the spoon, or the knife with teeth? There. So there it is. That's your maki. So two fingers on top. I'm yeah. using my finger at the back. Uh, thank you, Colin. This, way. Okay. this one cuts better. So two fingers on top. I use my thumb on under the second finger. So it's actually, I locked it into, no, I cut it in the right middle. I locked it with two fingers here and two fingers here. And then, okay, let me remove this water. And I cut it in between. There you go. There you go. In restaurant, you usually cut half. You cut half first. And then you'll put half again, then they'll cut. Now I'll wash, I'll wash mine because it's sticky. There you go. Okay. So that's the maki part. Who knows how to do how to do hand roll? Who knows how to do hand roll? Me. Okay. I'm going to try to make hand roll with crab stick. But first, I'm going to take my crab steak. I'm going to try to cut it Dude, into can thinner. Can I have a tiny bit of rice? You can take this. Oh. Okay. Mm. Oh, we see. I'm going to thin it out. That's my crab steak. Okay, we're gonna try to do a hand roll. Hand roll, you take a new piece. You cut in a half, fold half and cut. Another one? I'll go take yourself. And you put rice just at the side there. It is going to roll up this way. So you want your rice to be here. Just at this portion. Form a triangle. And who's that? Einstein. He's very me, and I don't want to get my hands caught. Yeah. Okay, once you think there's enough rice, like a triangle there, 
I will add a bit of the floss on top. You can add any ingredients, cucumbers and everything. I'm just using very simple stuff to show you. And I place the crab stick in there. You can do one or two. Now you're going to roll it up. Cover the triangle on the side. Oops. Cover it in. I'm going to fold it over. Hey, John, thank you. This was our first uh, time with you guys. But my laptop's battery is dead, so okay. thank you. <laughs> I like it first. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So you can see there's a triangle hand roll here. So if I unroll it again, you can see that. See? See, it's this part, I don't really touch anything on it. I only put rice on this portion here with an empty corner that falls in. Then I roll it up. There you go. Okay. Here, Colin, you can have this too. And the rice mold is easy also. The rice mold is the easiest. You just mix whatever you want in there. You can cut your rice into under, in the seaweed, the rest of the seaweed into smaller pieces. Here's scissors. I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna fold half again and cut it smaller. So you, some of times you can go to the market, you can find those pieces and those, those are those shredded ones that those can work too or they have pre-mixed with meat floss and things like that. They all can be used. If not, scissors will work too. I'm going to shorten them. I'm going to add some of the floss in there as well. Sweeten it a little bit more. You can mix them up. Make sure you wash your molds, the molds before you use them. And this is easy. Just make sure the cover, the, the patterns cover is on top, put it inside, put the rice on it, and then you compress it down to show a shape. So I cover it up and what I do next is I turn it upside down and I press the top down. And I need yummy. I press the top down and then it's done. There you go. Wrap it. I'm going to take it out this way. There you go. So you can do the same to the rest. 
we still have some rice. I'm going to do the triangles too. So for triangle, I'm going to do the same, half it. I'm gonna use a cling cling wrap for this one. I'm gonna put some rice in there on top of it. I'm using, I'm putting on top of the seaweed so I can roughly know I like how this big one it is. Better. Yeah, I'm gonna, do a super, a I'm gonna do a super big one. I'm eating the crab stick. And I'm, yeah. Yes, you like the crab stick. And I'm gonna put and some. It's vegetable. And I'm going. Your crab stick. No. And I'm gonna cut some crab sticks right in the middle. Crab sticks, you can add mayonnaise too. You have mayonnaise in your package as well, so you can use that to make crab stick with mayonnaise. Put it in the middle and I'm gonna close it up. Get off the rest. Gonna roll it into a ball. roll it, close it up into a ball. You go. Okay, so I'm gonna shape the ball into a triangle. Triangle. There you go. See, now I have a triangle sushi. And this is quite It's quite big, so I'm going to trim it down a little bit. I'll measure what I want it to be. And cut it down. This is cold. This is ready. Let me use this so I can you. eat it. So with my yeah, let me wrap key. it around so you can hold it and eat it. Yes, there you go. The sushi is finishing faster than my son can. Even the Collins can eat. Huh? Okay, there you go. I'm going to place in the middle. Okay, triangle for Colin too. There you go. Can you put it there first? <laughs> okay. It looks a bit like dumpling, right? So how's everybody's lunch going? <laughs> in the sun already, second batch. Second batch already, yeah. <laughs> They eat fast. Yeah, they share the grandparent. Grandparent, uh, grandparent says. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can see Amelia is happily eating it. Very nice. 
<laughs> Very nice, that's good. So is it difficult? Not really, right? <laughs> My girl say it's very fun to do it together. Actually, they also do sushi here uh, by themselves. So, uh, but you see, it's more fun to do it uh, with the science go on. And it's more, if, near, uh, more fun when we meet together. <laughs> so, mister, they get along together. Bye. As the science part, we can keep it online. And then we will, we will arrange one day purely just to go and play. Because I realized that um, when we run it online, most of them can focus better and they do better. That's very true. <laughs> we can arrange another day, maybe on a Monday or something, and then we can all go play. And I will arrange, I will try to uh, uh, arrange some, um, some field trip around as well. Yeah, look forward to, right, Karif? Thank you, Auntie John. Welcome. So fun. Yeah, I think and so yummy. But I need to, to rush. Mm. Yeah, because online they don't have to rush. Because last week we uh went to the dentist appointment, so we miss out the crystal thing and then the copper thing. Can we ask you uh, offline later? Yeah. Uh, if, uh, if not, you can watch the video too. The video is already out. Oh, oh there. Okay, can. Yeah, we'll check back on Wednesday. It's usually out by the end of the day. Wow, wonderful! Thanks for all the hard work. <laughs> awesome. Einstein, are you full already? <laughs> Is Einstein full already? Or still eating some more? <laughs> I'm done making for Colin, but I'm going to make some for myself. <laughs> yeah. What's my triangle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The right is quite nice. I'm gonna make another round. Colin has missed everything. Say hello. Hello. Hi. Which one do you enjoy? Oh. you have a full thing. I can see cucumber. <laughs> Crab steak. <laughs> Vegetables. We have salad. Eggs. Eggs. <laughs> Say, yeah. Joan, yeah. thank you. We are going off already. Okay, see you. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. 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 Enjoy your lunch, have fun. Hey, start video eh. <laughs>
Yeah, which part do you like best? Uh, of course that we make the sushi. <laughs> of course the sushi, right? So are you making or you're just eating? Mommy's making. I'm making my own now. Just now uh -huh. Yeah, the mom always feeds the kid first, right? Yeah. This is my collapse <laughs> inside. Nice. The, you know the, the the what is that? The big roll. Uh -huh. The big the big sushi roll. Uh -huh. Yeah. Everything's in there. How do you find the rice? Oh, you haven't used the rice yet, so I can't ask you the question. Oh, why? Because I still have the old rice. Ah, I was about to ask you, how do you find the rice? I mean, oh, wait, you didn't use the rice. <laughs> Oh, Taobao again. Ah. Oh. Yeah. The rice from Taobao? Uh, it's, it's from Taobao, but it's a ja uh, like a Japanese brand, right? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I, it looks good, like. Yeah.